everyone welcome again in Angman youtube channel so we will continue our learning on ofm software and today's topic we will also learn about forecasting technique in previous video we have learned about you know decline curve analysis rate versus time and then we also covered the water oil ratio versus cumulative production and also rate versus cumulative oil production and in this video we will try to create forecast using you know oil cut versus cumulative oil production okay so it's going to be again very easy we will use demo database from the OFM software and as usual I'm more interested to perform the analysis in reservoir level compared to well level well basically these techniques start from, you know, well-level analysis, but it can also be exercised for reservoir level or cluster level, compartment level. Okay, so now we are going to perform the analysis at reservoir level. Okay, so here we have 231 completions. Just change it to reservoir. And I'm going to exercise the Adobe 1A reservoir. Okay, so we have 28 completions there. And then just create or select this one. We have either rate time decline or rate cumulative decline. Rate time decline basically or by default created for semi-log analysis and for the rate cumulative decline in linear, linear access. Okay, so I select this one. Now automatically we have this rate versus cumulative decline. I'm going to close this one and then tidying up. And then to change it to oil cut versus cumulative production, it's very easy. Just right click, scenario, and then for the phase or analysis, change from oil to oil cut. Okay, so for the time still in date, cumulative oil will be the parameter name in our analysis is oil comp in 1000 barrel and then for the oil cut is oil dot cut in percentage click on ok boom it's very easy right so now we have the analysis the oil cut versus cumulative oil production but doesn't end there and you see here we have case name i don't i don't need that the slope okay i, I will use that intercept also start oil cut yeah, my last oil cut and an oil cut by default 5%. Okay, so it means that if the reservoir, if the production of the reservoir reaches oil cut of 5%, then I will stop the forecast or I will stop the production because I'm not going to produce more oil if it reaches the, the cut off limit, the limit the operational limit which is oil cut of five percent or water cut of 91 95 percent okay but of course i'm i expect that i can produce more oil even though the oil cut reaches five percent or or less that's why i'm going to modify i'm going to change the end oil cut but later and then this is the cumulative production reserve expected or estimate ultimate recovery and last modify by. Okay, so I'm going to take down case name and last modify by, touch this legend, go down, select legend results, and then uncheck case name, last modified by, uncheck. Okay, just tidying up a little bit. And then I'm going to, yeah, and oil cut, I'm going to change it to value. And let's say I'm confident to continue to produce the field, the reservoir until water cut of 99%. In other words, oil cut of 1%, okay? Let's say after performing economic analysis, I conclude that my field, my reservoir will be still economic even though the water cut reaches 90, 90, 99% or oil cut of 1%. Okay, so let's change it to one. 
Okay, so now we have the forecasting line there. And then as usual, we are going to do regression, zoom in, okay. And yeah, let's say I'm going to take limit, upper, okay. Put your dots above the selected period or the selected data, above the selected data that we will use for regression analysis. So I'm going to take this data for my regression. That's why I will put my dots above them. Like this. Okay. So I'm going to neglect all data above my purple dots. And I will only include within my analysis, within my regression analysis, all data below these purple dots that I created. Okay, and then right click, click done. You see, right? So I will only include them and I will neglect everything else for my regression analysis. Zoom to fit. Okay, so it's like this. Now we get the slope, we get the intercept, we know the starting oil cut and we expect that the last oil cut will be 1%. And using the regression analysis that we select, we get the reserve of 190,000 barrels and estimate ultimate recovery of 2,895,000 barrel. Okay, again, I'm not doing the detailed analysis technically proper analysis in this video. Okay, I just show you the tutorial, the how to use it in the software and it goes back to you. It's your homework if you want to go to the technically proper analysis, analytically proper analysis, okay? So that's how we perform, you know, forecasting using oil cut versus cumulative production in linear axis. We perform the regression analysis at the selected period that we think that we conclude as the most representative period to represent our reservoir. And then we just create, you know, the forecasting using those data. Okay, so I think that's all. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope this video is useful. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next OFM videos. Thank you.